guys, welcome to the Fergie Time YouTube channel. Um, here we are another week where we get rained out, we don't get to go race. Last week it was Smoky Mountain and Boyd's, this week it is the Bulls Gap XR 100,000 win race. So two weeks in a row we've got rained out, which is not cool, but we're here. Uh, we wanted to produce some content for you guys, we wanted you guys to see our hauler, something that we spent a lot of time this off season on. Um, we got this hauler back in 2018 from Brian Shirley. It was white, uh, now it's blue as you can see. It's uh, a lot of work went into this, so I just wanted to kind of take you guys and, and uh, show you behind the scenes what we done. Um, before I get into all that, I want to thank Dad for painting it. You know, he's the reason why all this happened. Tadpole, Brandon, Derek, Terry, Zach, Trey, um, JB, Eric, Corey, Tanner, Tyler Wicks, Brandon Brown, um, all my crew guys, they worked their butts off this entire w winter. This, this wasn't a overnight uh, job. This was a December, January, February, all the way into March job. So it looks amazing. This is actually, it hasn't even been washed since Cherokee. So we, we decided not to wash it because we knew it was gonna get rained out. So um, we haven't cleaned it yet, but it still looks immaculate. So just wanted to show you guys a little bit behind the scenes, give you a tour of the hauler. Uh, so 2012 or 2013 Freightliner SNS. Um, but as you can see, it looks a lot newer now. So let's show you a little bit about this thing. So the headlights here, my dad's birthday is January the 8th. Um, my brother texted me and said, hey, we should get dad new headlights for the hauler for his birthday. So yeah, happy birthday, dad. Hope you liked your headlights. This is his, uh, his investment. So we, uh, we think they look good. They look a lot better than what they were. All the chrome, the bumper, we put new headlights, new um, runners, uh, new lights everywhere on this thing. Tadpole wired a lot of it. But all the chrome on it has been polished. Uh, special thanks to Greg, Tim, Dead Eye Shine On, uh, polishing. He did a great job on this thing. It took him a little bit, but he did a great job. So we're very, very thankful for that. Um, this color, don't ask me what color it is. It's, it's either blue or purple, I couldn't really tell you. It's, uh, but it's beautiful regardless. Um, anyways, we kind of went through everything. We had to take all these apart, take the door jams out, uh, take the doors off, everything. Um, you know, the crew guys did a great job, but we took that out. Greg polished the steps ups, the step ups, uh, all the trim, all this stuff was taken off and painted. Actually, I'll take you over to the other side, show you guys what we had to do, which was pretty wicked. So this slot out here, we actually had to pull the whole thing out, completely take it off of the trailer or the truck and painted it. Uh, it was a project. It was, um, it was a lot. It took like eight of us to pick it up, maybe six of us, one of the two. We had to take it out. We used a forklift for a little bit of it, but pull it in and out of the paint booth. We uh, we had to fix all that. And we took it out, redone the awning on it, fixed the awning. Uh, it's been a big project. All these running lights, Tadpole replaced all them. Um, love the black and the, the chrome, the blue, the window tint. Uh, a little tour. I haven't really opened this in a while, but we don't get to do this a lot, but when we do, it's pretty cool. We got a grill in here. A little bit dirty right now. We haven't cleaned it out yet, but uh, a lot of times at the racetrack, we'll uh, actually grill out in between races, especially um, two or three day shows. And some tracks have great concession stand food. Other tracks don't. So when it doesn't, we, uh, we just bring some burgers, hot dogs, chicken, whatever, and grill it on the grill. 
Back side of the trunk, we put a new door in. It's got a lock on it. It's got a passcode. Um, we'll put all new lights on it and everything. We resheated a lot of this. Uh, we used to have diamond plate on the back right here and on the back right here. Uh, we decided to just stick with standard aluminum because it just looks better. Uh, like I said, Dad, I did a great job polishing caps, um, steps. Tapo actually redone the steps this winter. Uh, put some grip tape on top of it, which is nice. Uh, we put a new light in and on top just to, for it to be brighter. Um, the whole ladder got polished, which is super cool. It looks great. It's brand new. Um, all the trim and this everything looks immaculate. Um, before we go inside, I'll take you down the rest of it. Here's the rest of the trailer. Um, the bottom used to be stainless, but we decided to go with the full, you know, painted look with the chrome trim. Um, it looks great. We put all new lights everywhere, tap pole. Uh, we actually had a resheet, like six pieces on the right side because tap pole, or not tap pole, I don't really know who, but someone got into maybe a, another truck or a stop sign somewhere and there was a scratch on the side of it. So uh, me, tap pole, dad, and Brandon actually um, pulled all the sheets off with the tractor and some clamps and then resheeted six of them. So that was pretty dang cool. Big project. Um, walking down the side. We actually put a new mini split in here. Um, I think it was like last off season maybe. Or actually this past year we put a new mini split air condition in here. Tapple had to redo the cabinets, so that was pretty wicked. Uh, these caps we took off and painted. And me and you, Casey, actually bolted these back up. And they ain't no slouches, they're, they're heavy. Um, all new lights everywhere for the back door, which is nice, you know, in the pit area. My buddy Nick Drake made these little rings to go around the lights that make them look stainless and immaculate. Like I said, Dad, I did a great job polishing the back door. It looks brand new, chrome. I mean, this trailer's over roughly right around 10 years old. So for it to still look this great, it, it's pretty cool. All the reflective DO2 ta DOT tape we redone. It's a process having to pull this stuff off, but we did it. Tadpole Fab got his own decal on the hauler, which is cool. Uh, around here, the other side looks more blue. This side looks more purple. Yeah, this side's this size is one that we had to do all the sheet metal work. In here, we have our tire grinding station. Brandon, Tyler Wicks, me, Derek Pope, Tadpole, whoever has to usually grind tires are over here. We got two grinders here. Uh, air hose, all the buffing pads, apron, baby powder, get into that later. I think Brandon actually explained what the baby powder was in a previous video. All right, first rule, no shoes. Mom don't watch this video, but I'm not taking my boots off and I don't think Casey's gonna take his shoes off, but they're perfectly clean, so I'll clean the floor if I have to. Here's the inside of the toter. This is where we uh, live on the road. We'll start out here. Top bunk. Um, this is usually where Brandon sleeps, surprisingly. I hate sleeping back here. I try not to ever. Dad usually sleeps right here unless Mindy comes. Um, plenty of storage containers for whatever. Usually clothes go in there. Here's the ladder. If you can see it, it's uh, nice. Um, more storage containers in here usually have coats and uh bags for clothes up top same thing uh, typically speaking everybody takes their shoes off there's rain boots in here because you can never have enough rain boots when you go to a dirt track and it rains down in the bottom i usually keep my racing shoes which i do and then same thing in here there's slippers and stuff bathroom and shower sink toilets on the right uh, showers on the left, 
little mirror and everything. We keep the towels up top, soap and stuff in the bottom. Little rack right here to hang all your uh, wet towels and whatnot. When we get on the road, we typically go through a good bit of towels. So, yeah, there's the bathroom, shower. I forget to cut the light off, and Dad'll be yelling at me. Uh, refrigerator. Um, for freezer to keep, you know, drinks, water, whatever. Uh, extra storage for everything. Storage. This whole side right here is a slide out and it slides out uh, roughly around four or five feet. Creates a ton more space, but we're at the shop so we don't have it slid out. Uh, Mom and Mindy and Jenna all went and uh, picked out a bunch of decorations, so don't um, don't judge me for the pink pillows, but we do have, uh, it does look good in here. Mom, Mom and them do a great job, so. Actually, the sign says it all. Welcome to our beautiful chaos. Uh, the sink, you know, wash your hands, wash, you know, dishes, whatever. Storage for that, for everything as far as cleaning stuff so under the sink. There's a trash can in here. Um, basically, all kind of drawers for utensils, you know, food, knife, fork, spoon. Food stays in here. Uh, really not much to choose from because we've only been on one trip. So there's a Keurig for the coffee, some chips, some ravioli, spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, there is some beef jerky in there, peanut butter jelly. Um, in here, just more stuff for eating napkins and containers. Up top, there's sheets, pillows, blankets. This folds out into a futon. This folds out into a futon. Um, this right here is where you eat at, you know, or hang out, whatever. Uh, the nice thing is we do have TVs right here and right there behind you. Um, we do have satellite in here. Uh, there is also a PS3 in here with NASCAR, heat, um, and radio and, and satellite and whatever we need. Um, I usually try to sleep right here, but when mom comes, uh, mom takes that bed and I get demoted to either probably up in the top bunk. So I'll show you the top bunk real quick. Here's the top bunk. You can't really see up there, but it's a little tight. I got up there this winter and uh, cleaned it. It was, uh, it gets hot up there. So usually this air condition, I try to keep it on to blow in there. Driving quarters. Up old dad, Trey, Zach, whoever's driving. There's the uh, driver and passenger seat, uh, GPS navigation, all that stuff for a big truck. We uh, keep that closed up and keep this closed off. That way the air conditions nice in here. So, uh, oh, I didn't even see the microwave. Yeah, microwave. Um, just everything you can think of to live out of here. We've stayed in here for two weeks before, so. It's, uh, it's nice, it works, and it uh, works for all the crew, and it's just uh, convenient. We, we've used to drive up and down the road in a dually, driving 10 hours to race, and 12 hours, eight hours. Nothing really uh, really worked out when you would go on long trips like that, so especially in a hotel for two or three nights every weekend. So we're very, very fortunate to be able to get this, and it helps out a ton, and I don't know what we do without it nowadays. Well, here's the hole where all the work done. We'll start with the uh, shovel, push broom, and uh, regular broom. Come in handy. We are to the track. Go straight inside. First thing you'll see is probably rugs, tires, and cabinets. So, custom rugs done by Sweet Victory, the Edge Entry. Um, tire racks, you know, our tire grooving stations in here. We typically don't have space inside the shop, so we make it here work for grooving tires. And we'll start with these cabinets back here, I guess. First thing, we got a refrigerator right here. Uh, it comes in handy, that way you don't have to walk in and out of the hauler every time you want to get something to drink. It's just a small one, mini one, but it works out good. We have all our switches right here. Uh, air condition, remote control, main lights, front door light, upper deck, water pump, uh, receptacle. All right, first cabinet, fuel, base fuel only. Thanks to Paul Hollander and uh, his son, 
junior fuel jog router for a, uh, when we drill the holes in the tires. Uh, just a bottle jack, just in case. Down here is typically, I ain't gonna open it all the way, but spare tires, some stuff just in case it rains, tracks, jack pins, uh, roll up paper. In here, just miscellaneous. We got a welder, car cover, uh, toolbox cover, you know, water hose, cleaning supplies, everything you can think of as far as what you would need as far as cleaning it. Down here, I carry spare radiators from Fluid on High Performance. Shout out to Gary. Uh, and oil coolers, we got spares for that. Start right here. All of our tires, we have two tire racks right here. Works pretty good for what we need. Tire driven station, uh, secondary air condition, just one that's like a little outside unit or inside unit. Goes straight through the floor. Um, typically have rims on the bottom, but I think we got most of the rims out because we were debound tires. In these cabinets, we have our lights that we hang up. This light can hang up on the back door and it shines straight over the motor. That way you can see when you're working on it at night. Uh, spare radiator, sh uh, shaker screen, um, door plastic, nose skirts, nose plastic, the light for a uh, secondary setup over here. Um, we don't really use that much anymore because we do most of the tire grouping in here. We have store forage, that we have spare body braces, um, body, there's quarter panels, doors, all kinds of stuff. It's up under the rugs here. Um, don't really want to pull it out because it's not that important. Um, next, we have tires. We're going to block this out. Well, we have uh, shocks from Fox. This is our spring smasher where we do all the magic. Um, pretty cool. We got a really good deal going with Fox. They do a great job for us. Um, Jeff, Ronnie. Uh, just everybody up there, man, they do a great job. You know, we've been with them for a while. We have our monitor here that actually runs over to our shock dyno. Uh, this is where a lot of the magic's made. And Dad really, you know, with the help of everybody else, makes the decisions on all the shocks and springs. Uh, pit mats, never have enough of those come in handy. And here we have. Well, right now we don't have one because we don't have a spare rear end for our Longhorn. We do have a spare rear end for the Bloomquist car, but we have a spare drive shaft from Dynamic Drive Lines, uh, spare axles from Buzzy, uh, tow plates, spacers, uh, man, anything really. There's all kinds of stuff. Spare lip bar, J bars, axles, um, four lane bracket plates, all kinds of stuff. There's a uh, ring and pinion or a jack shaft right there. These cabinets right here are for rear uh, transmissions, batteries, fan blades, uppers, lowers, no, not uppers and lowers, but basically spare parts for a race car. Same thing can be said here. I actually got my helmet in there, but we have headers, uh, starter. I'm pretty sure we have a hub assembly, um, steering shaft assembly, water pump, uh, we have a cap and plug set in there, skip plate, uh, here's the other air condition, this is the mini split, and here this is all cabinets that have pull redone. We have a uh, spare carburetor fans, leaf blower, crew shirts, miscellaneous, Here is spindles, steering racks, uppers, lowers, brake rotors, pull lines, everything you can think of as far as front suspension, brake pads, uh, ball joints, handy. And here we have our Walker Performance air filters. Um, everything as far as carburetor works in here too, also air filters, air filter covers, housings, Bolt kits from SRI, nuts and bolts, every size you can think of for the race car. Really, we got cores, cores, fine, ball joints. 
battery straps, U-bolts, electrical, electrical stuff specifically. Burner cage, shock mounts, brake fittings, bearings, four bar rods, gears. Uh, in here, we have fluids, everything from Schaefer's oil to uh, brake cleaner, brake fluid, drop cords, rags. Um, this is pretty cool, this jug. Doug Smith got for us for um, oil and also for radiator fluid, so pretty dang cool. Um, a device for shocks, monitor that will show what's going on inside the hauler. Driver compartment, there's not much up here right now. Some notebooks for our notes. Um, we got a helmet right here and some tear offs, gloves, Apple Fab. Uh, in here we usually keep a drum of fuel, base fuel. We'd love to have a spare motor, but we don't have one, so that stays full of uh, fuel. More cabinets, carburetor, timing lights, uh, crank triggers, all kinds of adjustments. In here we have springs, everything you can think of, um, all kind of combinations. We mainly run Hyperco, we have other stuff too. Uh, we do like the Hyperco stuff the most, so. Thank you guys for 3,000 subscribers. Tickled to death. This is a little bit of a journey, this YouTube thing. We're just uh, getting better at it. We're going to keep filming and keep showing you guys behind the scenes, uh, show you a little bit behind our race program. Uh, just super thankful. I can't believe we got to 3,000. But with that being said, we do want to announce we're going to do a 3,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, one of the biggest things that we're going to give away is a 124th Longhorn 22 Cheyenne diecast. We should have them in in the next uh, month or so, I, I think. So we're going to give away one of those. It'll be a low number, probably one of the top 10 or 15. Um, all you have to do is like, comment, and subscribe on the YouTube video. And we will pick out of all the like, comments, and subscribes. We'll draw, we'll probably do like a little, um, you know, little video uh, of spin the wheel deal. That's how we did the last giveaway. So we'll do that. It'll be pretty cool to get a low number die cast. Um, also, we're going to have three other prizes. Uh, we're going to give away a mini door, a large mini door, and also a car cutout uh, from Speedy Customs. We're going to give away one of each. So there'll be four winners on it. Um, excited to do this. And excited to keep growing the YouTube and I hope you guys keep following along and hopefully we can keep winning big races like uh, March Madness. We've got a lot of big races coming up this year and we're a little team but we're a little team that could so really hoping we get some more crown jewels. Well here's the holder. Hope you guys liked it. Um, could win it a little more in depth but didn't want to waste all your time. The cars stay up top. There's air compressor, spare body panels, all that stuff up top too so but yeah, this is the haul we're proud of it. We try to keep it clean and uh, just very thankful for all of our uh, partners and sponsors that allow us to be able to have this stuff.